Moving on, we've got this story courtesy of CNBC News, which is really sad. Um, considering Nike, and considering I might probably have some people that I probably know who still work there, it says here Nike is to lay off two percent of employees cutting more than 1,500 jobs during the broad restructuring so we'll read the story here courtesy of cnbc it says nike is cutting two percent of his in current workforce or more than 1,500 jobs as part of the broader restructuring the bbc in oregon based sneaker giant said that it was um better it so it, it wants to better use its capital to invest in the growth areas such as running women's and jordan brand this is how we will re reignite our growth says john donahue this is a painful reality, not one that I take lightly. Um, he said that we were not currently performing at our best and I ultimately hold myself and the leadership team accountable. Brendan and Dunnan has got the actual internal memo that was sent. Somebody leaked it to him. So this is actually the, C the Nike CEO email he sent out ahead of the fucking layoffs. Because I find the layoff emails are always funny because there's always, a, there's always an element of like distance the CEO has from it. It's always everybody else's fault. It's never, it's never his fault. It's never his job that's on line. It's always like measly peasants that have to kind of get the boot and have to look for, you know, other means of, of gainful employment. So let's actually see the actual statement here, courtesy, or the actual email that was sent to all Nike staff, courtesy of John Donahue, the Nike CEO. Nike is always at his best when we're on the offense, listening to the voice of the athlete and aggressively pursuing most of our significant growth opportunities. We win by serving sport athletes with groundbreaking innovative products, distinctive storytelling and differentiated marketplace experiences. When we don't do that, we help to make athletes dreams a reality. But we are currently confronting another reality. While interest in sport, health and wellness and comfort has never been stronger, we are in a highly competitive industry where speed end to end execution is critical to win. <laughs> i love this in order for us to win you have to get fired <laughs> to compete we must edit shift and deliver and divest less critical work to create greater focus and capacity for what matters most <laughs> what matters most is the company survives not your jobs we are doing just that our cons consumer marketplace focus is accelerating our innovation, bringing new products and ideas to consumers with speed and scale and elevating our storytelling and brand in the marketplace. We were, we are developing, sorry, we are redeploying our resources to increase investment in our most significant fields of play and growth op opportunities, such as running women's and Jordan brand. So if you're not, you know, pff, I don't know. This is probably the reason why they're fucking flailing if they're still doing fucking Jordan brand reboots. Um, this is how we will reignite our growth. To fuel this investment over the coming months, we will more sh sharply align our organization with our strategy to continue the journey we began last year. Unfortunately, these changes will impact some of our teammates. <laughs> teammates lols i love those kind of some of the family some of the te teammates you know result in the reduction of approximately two percent of our total workforce this is a painfully reality um that no one um that not one that i take lightly and that we are not currently performing at our best and i ultimately hold myself accountable you hold yourself accountable but are you also putting your neck on the line and firing yourself obviously not i'm responsible or not responsible um Sorry, this is a painful reality, not one that I take lightly. We are not currently performing at our best and I ultimately hold myself and the leadership team accountable. <laughs> that said, right, we're accountable, it's our fault, but you're going to get fired. That said, I've never been more confident in our leadership <laughs> and the team to drive the clarity and teamwork required to win. So the leadership team are responsible for them not performing, but the leadership team are also now responsible for getting that performance. How does that make any sense? Given our size and scale, our organizational change we will occur. Um, so our organizational change will occur in two phases. The first phase starts this week, and teammates impacted by these changes can expect to have conversations with their leader beginning this Friday, extending into the next week. The second phase will be complete by the end of Q4. Can you imagine being told you're going to get let go on the Friday, just before the weekend? I know there's not a perfect day for you to get that sort of news, but can you imagine how you're going to feel? Just before the weekend, you're prepping for your weekend. Maybe you sort out the kids, hang out with the family, hang out with a partner, the husband, the wife. Go take your dog for a walk somewhere. Go on a hike, see your parents, whatever you're going to go do. And then suddenly you get hit with a, hey, your job is over. God damn it. That's all you're going to think about the entire weekend. I completely ruined it. Thank you, Nike.
um, EMEA will be on a different timeline based on the local labor law. We do not expect to say, hey, you guys in Europe, you're also going to be affected. Don't think that the European people aren't affected also. They're also going to be affected. We do not expect this work to impact store athletes, coaches, or first-line teammates based in distribution centers and air MIA. So if you work in the stores, you're fine. If you work in head office, you're fucked. Um, but from what I've read online, other this has been happening for a while, but it's only come to light now. We have prioritized respect and compassion for teammates transitioning out of Nike and we will be supportive as possible transitioning out of you know <laughs> this will include comprehensive packages of financial health care and outplacement support services for those teammates leaving i've always been humbled by the commitment and the grit of our teammates worldwide and our inspiration resilience hard work and unity have been remarkable through some of the most challenging times over the past few years all of our teammates impacted by these changes have made significant contributions to nike can you name them please can you name the teammates that are leaving and their contributions can you detail them john donahue can you do that of course not he's just empty words all of our teammates impacted by his changes have made significant contributions to nike we owe them a great respect and gratitude nike has proud history where the most challenging blah 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 so whatever right so everybody from nike or two percent of them are getting fired i love that they led with the two percent right i guess now the detail is going to be 1500 but this is standard corporate talk nike are making it seem like it's only two percent but two percent of a massive company is a lot of fucking jobs and obviously cnbc and other platforms have detailed that it's more than 1500 actual people real life human beings who are going to be impacted um you know by this so that's really upsetting but this shouldn't be a shock to most people because Nike stock has not been performing well. Um, even if you're not looking at the stock prices, just if you're a fan of sneakers and judging by the stuff that you buy, right? Imagine if you're a fan of sneakers and you follow my podcast and you know the stuff I talk about when it comes to streetwear and the tags and stuff, you would have probably recognized yourself. You're probably not even buying that much Nike anymore. You probably might be buying Adidas nowadays. You might be buying New Balances. You might be even wearing Crocs every single day, right? There are people just wearing other shoes nowadays I've seen on road, especially when I go into like the trendier parts of London, like Shoreditch and stuff. I've seen way more variety in terms of what people wear on their feet than ever before. I think maybe 10 years ago, five years ago, it was really, you know, all you saw was fucking Nike. Nowadays, like you probably don't even see that many people wearing Yeezys in the street anymore, to be fair. People are wearing all sorts of fucking shit out there. So so it does it's not it's kind of reflective of what's going on in the street it's been reflected obviously in the head office that nike of course are suffering and they're now having to cut costs in terms of you know um salaries and stuff to obviously allow the company to continue on and to try to reinvest some of that back into the main areas they mentioned which is running women's and obviously jordan brand personally i feel like the over abundance or the over reliance on jordan brand especially the retros has been one of the reasons why nike has been floundering it seems like they're going above and beyond to retro fucking everything in new New materials and this whatever it may be but not really innovating and making new interesting products and new interesting products that they do make are fucking terrible so if anything i think it kind of doubt it kind of goes back to nike just not being innovative not nike not being innovative enough and not really challenging people and not really offering anything fresh that would really um captivate and people in any way shape or form and you would imagine not that it's it plays a part but i would imagine also i think the love affair that sneakers or oh no, the never fair that sneakerheads have had with nike is also on the wane i'm not sure if that's a thing that makes any sense but i honestly think that a lot of from what i've seen online some of the you know the ill you know the ill feeling around the sneakers app and around how that gets backdoored and just limited edition releases in general i feel like there's a little bit of like contempt and resentment for nike in general for how they've been treating sneakerheads right they purposely make these limited edition shoes that are obviously catered towards kind of you know appealing to the sneakerhead conglomerate or sneakerhead community but then they go out of their way to make it incredibly hard for people within that space to purchase them and they it seems like perpetuate and encourage this whole culture around backdooring and reselling and shit that is usually i would say a net negative for the industry overall so it definitely is um a bit of an issue um going forward for nike and everything that they're going to do so what we're hoping hoping you can only hope as being a long you know a lifelong nike fan that these sort of things although they're harmful and hurtful for the people involved who obviously have to get let go you would hope that this would send the message to them loud and clear that they need to innovate 
they need to freshen things up need to attack things in a different way and just try to maybe you know um claw back some of that ground they've lost on other companies because i feel like nowadays there's so much variety out there there's so many options the rep industry also i'd imagine might have some impact on the fact that nike are suffering the way they are at the moment having to cut jobs because nowadays i think the reps are better than they've ever been rep industry is incredible right you can get fakes that most people probably would never be able to kind of identify as fakes if you're not really that clued into sneakers that probably might affect things um and just you know in general just not offering anything compelling for the customers that would make them bother to go above and beyond to go and purchase them so maybe things will change in the future maybe it won't but this is definitely not something that if you're working at Nike, you should be surprised by if you were reading the tea leaves, if you were kind of keeping an eye on what's going on out there in the industry. But some people might be surprised. You shouldn't really, considering everything's been going on, you shouldn't really, considering everything that's been going on, I don't think you should be at, at all, at all, at all, at all.